Okay, so I want to really get into some how-to tips, and I mm -hmm. was telling you that I believe that would, no matter what age you're at, there are days, and I've shared with you, that I've felt incompetent, I've felt insignificant, um, not worthy, and, and, and um, at my age. So how do we start right now to start implementing and using these tools so that we can feel good because I know when we feel good we can help and be the best around other people to bring out the best in them. Mm. Could I just give you three quick tips? Yeah, please. Um, first of all I think it's really important to ask yourself the question why? Why am I afraid of whatever this is that is relating to age? And to really look at that fear, give it a name you know, make it your friend. Mm -hmm. it, it's like taming an animal. Get to know it because, you know, when you get to know somebody and you give it a name, and I say give it a name that is similar to whatever name you might, well, a name that actually relates to the fear, like um, lack of confidence. Okay. Call your fear lack of confidence, and then you're able to deal with it. You're able to talk to it, and you're able to dominate it. Secondly, and I think this is really important, is to take the spam out of your language. And I say put in a spam filter for the thoughts that you're thinking and the words that you're saying out loud. For instance, oh, I wish I could do that. Yeah. And immediately change that around. Make it a positive. You may not even think of that as a negative. Oh, I wish. But it is. You're telling yourself you can't. So turn that into a positive. Oh, wow. I could do that. I can do anything I set my mind to. Or I had a great one in a workshop I was doing. Mm -hmm. This one woman said, oh, I'm so fat. And I said, well, how can you turn that around? And another woman who literally was terribly overweight gets up and she says, you could say you're sensuous. Mm. And I said to her, I said, well, could you show us what you would look like if you were saying I'm fat? And she came up and she showed us what she'd look like. And, oh, you didn't want to be like that at all. And then she showed us what she'd be like if she were <laughs> sensuous. <laughs> and it was amazing because, and I think it's a good illustration, when we change the spam, take out the spam, and turn it into positive language, mm -hmm. we're changing not just our thoughts, but our body movements, how, how we gesture, and the image we put across to others. And the third tip would be to share your significance. You know you have talents. You know that you have special gifts, experience, knowledge, know-how, savoir-faire, savoir-être, that you can share with others. And I say recognize that and go out and share it. Either volunteer, work, work to help some organization where you can actually share your significance. And with that, I guarantee even just those three tips, you're going to feel much better about who you are and the person that you are. Well, seriously, when you were going through all this, I'm starting to feel a little taller, and I'm standing <laughs> up a little straighter. I'm feeling really good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise, and I see the love and the passion. If there's anything that you'd like to close with um, to get our audience to feel good in their own skin today, wherever age that they are at, what would you like to say to them? I would say just celebrate the person you are because you're beautiful. All you have to do is to believe it. And if you, if you go on esteem at everyage.com. There is even a free ebook to help you get a kickstart. I love that. Thank you so much, Bonnie. So check oh, Bonnie out. <laughs> Start feeling good today. Get started. Go on to our website. Check out our book and audio program. We'll see you. <laughs>